My name is Ioannis Naples. I find I'm a Cuban immigrant who came here eight years old from Cuba and is loving the U.S. every day. So, you know, when you come here, the first thing, you get to New Jersey, all of a sudden everything is brown. Everything is just weird because, you know, it's like a different, you know, different society you get into and now you're just excited. Like, all of a sudden we get to our house, we have like a TV in a room for the first time and you're like, okay, but we come from Cuba and in Cuba the government always tells you, oh, you got to be careful because when you get to the U.S., they're going to, they steal kids, they, you know, they beat their kids, they do this, they do that, so, you know, you're f afraid to go outside. Um, you know, you show up at school, like I got here in the summer, the end of the summer, and, um, you know, school started right away. So I was like, I show up at school, no one knows how to speak Spanish. Not, no one, it was like a whole area was all like Italians and Portuguese and Greeks. So we went to school, you know, we were like the weird kids because we were just dressed weird, we had everything, you know, different than everybody else. Plus we didn't speak the language, so yeah, you were bullied, they were used to make fun of you and stuff like that, but back, that's, you know, that's been happening forever. There's one thing you can do in life, bro. You can, if somebody tries to hold you down and you can become a victim, or you can just use that as fuel for you to just, you know? So if you want to be the victim and everybody wants to push everybody to be a victim, Oh, you know, if somebody talks bad to you, oh, you know, you feel so bad for you, bro, forget about that. You just use that as a fuel for you to go above them. You know how many times when I was 18, 19 years old, I was already doing pretty much pretty good for myself because I always had like a little business mentality and, and I was doing, and when I, when I was like 18 years old, I bought my first, back then, $62,000 car. And I used to drive that, I was like, where are all these 18 year old kids? They're probably still living with their mom. I was already looking to buy my first apartment. So I was like, you know, you just use, you know, you use it as fuel, man, not to hold you down. Don't use it as brakes on your back. Use it as fuel to like grow and, you know, do better. And then, you know, when it, the day comes that you improve on yourself, then you don't have to worry about, you know, and then you can help other kids who are being bullied and you can help other people when they're, you know, when they're down on their luck.